Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Grab a beer, sit back and relax. Prepare to enjoy an entire review of me just running over people in Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. Welcome to Virtual Hong Kong. It's Sleeping Dogs. Sure, the game has a silly title and appears to be yet another Grand Theft Auto clone. Give it some time and you'll find a lot to love about Sleeping Dogs. It's an open world game. And that means mayhem. But beyond the obvious chaos that you can create, there's actually a great sense of humor lurking within this game and a good plot worth playing. If you can just stop crushing people with a bus long enough to find it. To be honest, if all you're looking for is chaos, mayhem, and a giant sandbox-like environment to explore and destroy, Grand Theft Auto V is a better bet. But if you like those games and you're into the old school John Woo movies, martial arts films enter the dragon and have seen infernal affairs, then you gotta play this game. It's got the frickin' Zodiac Tournament. The Zodiac Tournament! When I entered the Zodiac Tournament, I was speechless. At first, I thought Sleeping Dogs was just another one of these games. It kind of reminded me of Watch Dogs. A Me Too clone with no personality. Give it time, the personality will shine through, as you see. The fighting is great. But given the level of detail in Sleeping Dogs and the sheer scale of the environment, I can only imagine it cost the developer and publisher a fortune, considering what its competition is. It probably lost its shirt. I remember getting this for PlayStation Plus a while back on my PlayStation 3 and really wasn't all that impressed. The PlayStation 4 version, however, is dynamite. It's like this game just needed more horsepower to run it. Their little shrunken recreation of Hong Kong is terrific. And you'll have plenty of time to explore and destroy it as you do the usual Grand Theft Auto style things. For once, I actually enjoyed the plot in this game. You play as Wei Shen, who's from Hong Kong and ended up as a cop in America, moved back to Hong Kong, he's undercover working his way through the gangs, and like so many of the movies upon which this game is based, ends up powerful and conflicted. <laughs> if you say so. He discovers that many of the bad guys aren't that bad after all, and perhaps the Hong Kong police are the bigger douchebags. It's a storyline worth playing. If you can keep yourself from getting distracted, that is. There's plenty of things to do. Like other games in the genre, you end up with numerous apartments that you call home. There's loads of unlockable outfits, many of them pretty entertaining. And how about this, door-to-door -door service? What Sleeping Dogs lacks in flamethrowers and the El Camino, it more than makes up for with the Zodiac Tournament and plenty of pedestrian crushing action. The music's also pretty interesting. I genuinely enjoyed exploring the city. There's lots of things to do like cockfighting, gambling, running over people. It won't let you use a grenade launcher in the club unless you bring a motorcycle in with it. And of course, there's hidden stuff everywhere. Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition comes with all the DLC. 
And while the footage may not do a good job demonstrating it, the storyline is very good. Oh, and obviously, I love the car that you end up building in the game. Sadly, it doesn't transform into a giant robot. Did I mention that the Zodiac Tournament is amazing? Honestly, that could have been its own game. But hey, think of it this way. You get the Zodiac Tournament and Sleeping Dogs for free with the Definitive Edition. This is the PlayStation 4 version, and I know you can find this out there for a fairly low price these days. Sleeping Dogs. If you like these kinds of games, give it a try. And I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you going all the way to my man Kelvin from Cuba, Missouri once again. Thank you for sending Sleeping Dogs. Thank you for sending the Zodiac Tournament and uh, Sleeping Dogs along with it. I find these games good fun to unwind to after a long day of playing far more challenging arcade-style games and then editing video reviews about them. Sleeping Dogs. Good times. Highly recommended. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. Introducing Michael Fernandez. Oh, yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim. Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal! Signal. Al Cyber! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again! Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from New Jersey! Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria! Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia! Home of Mad Max, Ohad Kane! Cue the Thunder! Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar, Rick DeBarros! Out of sight! Will, 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 Will. Kid Shuruken! Fatality! Chip Sink Bail! That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Chip Sink Bail! See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.